Hi, today's Thanksgiving and we're going to be cooking up some delicious stuff. We're going to start by cooking the turkey here in the smoker. This is just my Traeger smoker. I'm cooking it with pecan pellets. Uh, we're going to cook this at around 300 degrees and it'll smoke for about four hours. So we, I already put my turkey in here just barely. We've been preheating this. But what we did is uh, got the turkey and we melted about three quarters of a cube of butter and I poured it all over the turkey and a little inside. Then we cut up two green apples, uh, two onions, and we got some, uh, some herbs, some sage, some thyme, and some rosemary. And we put some of the herbs inside the turkey and on top and then I just sprinkled pepper. We put some of the apples and onions around the turkey also. And then I pour, poured a little bit of uh, apple cider around the, just inside the pan there. So I'm just gonna shut this. We'll let this do its thing. I think we'll probably just watch it, maybe check it in two and a half to three hours. And at that point we can gauge on uh, starting our side dishes. We're gonna cook some side dishes in the Dutch oven. So this is gonna be a fun day. So we'll see you back. Okay, hi, uh, it's been three hours. We've been cooking this turkey in this smoker, so it's been smoking. It smells great, but let's take a look. I just checked the temperature, and it was about 132 degrees so far. So we want this at about uh, 165, so we have an hour left, so we should be good. But look, it's all juicy. It's coming along great. Apples and onions, it's looking awesome. So we're going to just shut that, and we'll let that go for another hour. Now we're going to start some side dishes. So what I have here, we're gonna start with some root vegetables. I'm gonna cook these in my 12 inch Dutch oven. The ground's a little wet, so I just laid down a sheet of tin foil. I have 10 briquettes on the bottom. So we'll put the 12 inch Dutch oven right on top there. Take the lid off. And, uh, we put coconut oil in this Dutch oven last time we cleaned it. It's just been storing with that, so we're just gonna go with that. We have some lovely root vegetables here. We have some beets, purple potatoes, parsnips, and rutabaga, and it's seasoned with olive oil, salt, pepper, and rosemary, and thyme. So these are gonna cook for about 45 minutes total. We'll cook for, for about 20, and then we'll give them a stir and look at them at that point. So we're just gonna put these in the Dutch oven here. Yeah, look at that color. Sweet. Just kind of do that. So we're going to cook these at 400 degrees. So with the 12 inch Dutch oven, I have 10 briquettes under the bottom. And I want to get 18 on top. So there's, just kind of put a little pile. That looks like. And I'm going to put my extras right here on that tin foil. They burn down so quick in that, so I just set them off to the side. But that looks like it's about 18 or so, so we'll just let this cook for about 20 minutes and uh, we'll give it a stir at that point. Hi, okay, it's been 20 minutes. I'm gonna start my second side dish, then we'll kind of check the root vegetables after I get this one going. We're gonna make the all-time favorite uh, green bean casserole for a Thanksgiving here. But I have my 10-inch Dutch oven here and I have apricots on the bottom. We're gonna cook this at around 350 degrees. So what we have here is we have some fresh cut green beans. We steam these in the house for 10 or 15 minutes so they're pretty much cooked. Set that there. So I'm just going to put these in the Dutch oven. So it fits in there nicely. And then we have uh, some condensed portobello cream and mushroom soup. We got at Trader Joe's and uh, about a cup of milk just to kind of give it a good good consistency when it's stirred together. So let's kind of pour this over the top. Yeah, look at that. Those root vegetables are steaming up nice. Look at that go right there. Kind of get this in there. crispy french fried onions. It's a great ingredient. It has to go in this. We'll kind of put this in here like that. And I use my stir stick to put that in. So that was that, what that was for, but oh well. 
we just kind of stir this together. Get that a good mixture. And we're gonna cook this for about 25 minutes and at that point we'll check it. But let's get the lid put back on here. So for 350 degrees, I have eight on the bottom. We want 12 on top. yesterday and the snow off that tree is dripping. <laughs> Not too bad though. This is great. Having fun on Thanksgiving, cooking up all this good stuff. So there we go. 12 on top of there. I have a few extra. Now let's look at these root veggies and see how they're doing. Oh, look at that. That smells sweet. I got the full flavor of that. Oh, look at that red. That is awesome. So we time this out. So this is going to cook for about another 25 minutes too. So we'll just let these two dishes here do their thing. The turkey's still smoking there in the smoker. We should be all good to go and everything should be ready right together. So we'll see you okay, back. Okay, I think we're good to go. Everything seems to be done. It smells awesome, but this is the turkey. So I just checked it, it's a 165, but look at how golden brown that turned out. That is sweet. Just a little bit over four hours, so we, we guessed about right. Well, I guess not guessed, but yeah, it was about four hours. So let's come over here, and here we have our root vegetables. Well, look at that, look at the color in there. I'll just kind of give it a little stir so you can take a look. Yeah, that is awesome. So what I'm gonna do, is I, I'm gonna pull these root vegetables off the heat, and just kind of set them to the side. Because our green bean casserole we have here, we, uh, we're gonna cook for another five minutes or so. But yeah, look at that. Snow falling off the tree up there. I'm just going to give this a little stir here. Look at that. Look how good that is. But what I want to do is I'm going to pour some more of these uh, onions on the top. Like that. And we'll just cook this for another five minutes. So what we can do is we'll get everything ready to go and it should be good. Okay, we're ready to serve this up, so let's get this going, and then I'll kind of show you the plate, but this is awesome. Let's set that there. So here's our root vegetables. Look at that. That is sweet. Get a little spoon right there. Set that there, and then here's the... I guess I'll just stack those. Look at these beans. That is sweet. A little bit on here. Yeah, here you have it. There's our green bean casserole, root veggies. We've done some cranberry sauce in the crock pot. Smoked turkey. Here we have sweet potatoes and uh, some butternut squash, your favorite mashed potatoes and gravy, and a nice uh, roll. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you next time.